Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Out and About. I'm Stuart, and it's just out and about with me. Oh, yeah, Archie's here with me as well. And we're in Brunswick, Maine, and we're going to go check out Brunswick, Maine, and also Freeport later on in the video. So stay tuned, and let's get started. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart and Missy is in the Airbnb right behind me, this beautiful uh, old home here. We uh, got an Airbnb here last night and we uh, ride from our trip from Myrtle Beach. And we're gonna stop here and we're gonna do some shopping in Freeport later. But right now we're in Brunswick and we're gonna go check out all the uh, sites of this great uh, town. Um, I wanna come back here in the summer, I'm envious because it's beautiful in the winter. I only can only imagine what it's like in the summertime. All right, we're standing in front of the Portland Pie Company. Missy and I came here for dinner last night. It was, uh, we had a gluten-free pizza, uh, vegetarian uh, toppings. It was awesome. We're coming back here tonight for the Beyond Burger. So stay tuned to the video and see what the Beyond Burger looks like. So uh, Missy and I are here on President's Day in 2023. It's uh, February the 20th on the time of this recording. And it's a beautiful day here for Maine. You know, this type of uh, this part of the country obviously gets a lot of snow, just like we do in uh, New in New Brunswick. But uh, it's uh, it's very nice today. We we're a little bit concerned about the weather. We we're actually going to skip today because there was some threats of some snow, but uh, that, that's not going to happen. So we decided to uh, stay and check out uh, beautiful Brunswick today. So if you're wondering where Brunswick is on the map, if you uh, look for Portland, Maine, and then uh, follow the 295, you'll find uh, Brunswick. We uh, elected to stay here because of uh, close proximity to Freeport, but also was on the on the way home because we'll just exit the 295 and then back up to 95 and over to New Brunswick from uh, here. So uh, it's uh, very convenient right on the, uh, the Atlantic coast of uh, Maine. And we're gonna see if we can get over there. I'm not sure if we can today, but we'll try. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for, we'll put a map up here and we'll show you on the map where Brunswick is in relation to uh, New England and the state of Maine and Portland and Boston and a few other uh, key areas here in the Northeast part of the United States. But yeah, the uh, it's a beautiful day. I can't complain at all. All right, everyone, I'm standing in front of the Amtrak station and Archie's pulling me here. <laughs> I'm uh, standing in front of the Amtrak station here in uh, Brunswick. Uh, last night, Missy and I were here. There was uh, the Amtrak train was here. Now, <laughs> here, sorry, it had uh, an engine on both sides, so we don't know if it was going north or south, but it was going. It was here. And uh, if you turn around this way a little bit, you'll see the Hannaford uh, grocery store in the background. Archie's still pulling me, <laughs> and that's your uh, local grocery store here that we found. It had a very nice selection of uh, produce and basically everything that we needed. All right, we're gonna carry on with our walk. Archie's uh, still got a lot of energy in him. And uh, yeah, we're gonna point out the train station here behind me and uh, Hannaford over here. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, today is President's Day. So a lot of the local businesses are uh, closed, banks and things like that. I'm not sure if the coffee shop here is open. I didn't bring my wallet. And I don't know if they take Apple Pay. I'll have to go check that out. Plus I have Archie. But uh, yeah, we're gonna car carry on our walk. This is good exercise as well as making some great content for the channel here. So I hope you're enjoying this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let us know uh, if you what your favorite things about Brunswick, Freeport, and the area is. All right, folks, we're standing in front of the United Church here, the first parish church here in Brunswick, um, uh, 217 Main Street. It is the United Church, and right behind me here, as I turn around, is the Brunswick Hotel. So uh, this is the end uh, we're going to go, and there's still lots to go that way. So we're going to cross the road here, and there's cool architecture on the other side of the road, so still see it with that over there. All right, so we're here in the Spanish War Square, which is uh, an area to pay honor to Company K of the 1st Maine Volunteer Infantry Division that fought in the Spanish War from 19 or 1898 to 1902. Uh, I don't know much about that uh, conflict. I'm going to go back to the Airbnb later and check it out. And um, 
and see what that's all about. But this uh, little square here is uh, to pay honor and tribute to those who fought in that Spanish war at the turn of the 20th century. So like I mentioned, folks, we're uh, doing a walking tour of Main Street. Now, Main is spelled like the state, M-A-I-N-E. It's not like Main, like Main Street, like it's Main as in the state. So we're walking up and down Main Street here from basically from the church I just showed you to uh, the bridge, which is on the other end of downtown. So we've got a lot of walking to do. And uh, I'm with my partner here who <laughs> doesn't seem to mind walking. So Archie is a, uh, Archie loves going for walks. So I think we'll do more of these videos. So behind me here, I don't know if you can see it through the trees, is the Elks Lodge here on uh, in Brunswick. Uh, I don't know much about the Elks either. I'm not a member, but uh, they seem to be everywhere. So uh, thanks, uh, thanks building though. Uh, great, you know, a lot of great classic architecture here in this uh, part of the country. Again, it was uh, in my memory. So I don't know. I'm not a big American history uh, buff, but from what I understand, this part of the country is uh, perhaps where most of the early settlement came. Uh, and again, I don't know much about the state history of Maine other than what I uh, read on Wikipedia and a few other places. But I do believe it was one of the, one of the uh, early states in the Union. All right, so we're coming up on the uh, other end of the park now, and there is a war memorial here too, but this one covers all the uh, wards that the U.S. has been in. It is very well done. So I'll have a quick uh, look around here and show you some of the uh, the dedications to the following sol fallen soldiers here. All right, so I just uh, found something here about this war memorial here. Also goes back to the Civil War, the War of 1812, uh, American Revolution. So there is, uh, it goes back and honors a lot of the uh, fallen soldiers from uh, those conflicts dating back even 1812, 1775 for the Revolution, American Revolution. You even have one here for the Global War of Terror that's ongoing. Pretty interesting uh, dedications here to uh, past conflicts. Of course, the War of 1812 is something that we covered in a previous video with my buddy Keith when we were at Fort McHenry in Baltimore. I'll see if I can find a link and link it in the description below or even uh, put a thumbnail of it here on the on the video. But uh, yeah, he, Keith and I walked around Fort McHenry that day. It was, it, learned, it was interesting to see the other side of the story from the War of 1812. You know, being Canadian, we were also we were taught our history of what happened, but it was also good to get the other side of the story because there was always two sides of the story, right? All right, folks, we're standing in front of the uh, famous Highway 1 sign. A few months ago, Missy and I did a trip from Portland up to East Point, or East Port. East Port? Yeah, East Port. Uh, you can find that, uh, again, on our channel. And we also uh, started Highway 1 way back in the day, back in, uh, in Key West. So Highway 1, or US Route 1, uh, comes through Brunswick. So we'll see uh, Highway 1 here up a little bit more as we walk through downtown. I was standing in front of the little dog coffee shop. We're going to see if we can get Archie in. Uh, but I didn't, like I said, I left my wallet at home, so I don't know. I don't see Apple Pay on the door, so we'll uh, skip this one for now. But yeah, the little dog coffee shop. Archie, it's perfect for you. All right, we're we're uh, we're not done our walk around here yet, but uh, you'll see the street behind me here where that truck is. That's Lincoln. That is where our Airbnb is. So uh, like I said, we'll try to find a description and a uh, link put below, but uh, that, yeah, Lincoln is where our Airbnb here is in Brunswick. Beautiful Airbnb, by the way. 
All right, right behind me is uh, U.S. Route Number One. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the only part that's four laned and uh, almost like interstate ish. Right behind me here. All right, right behind me is Fort Andros. Uh, it looks like a big uh, retail operation, mainly from lofts in there, some office space. But uh, we'll see. We can find some information about that. But it looks like uh, you know, five number of little retail shops and things like that. We were going to go check that out last night, but uh, we never bothered getting over there. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's a retail shop. Uh, like self storage units over there. So yeah, it looks like it's just a place for some businesses now. All right, uh, we're gonna put Archie on a short leash. We're gonna be walking across the Frank J. Wood Bridge here, uh, built in 1932. It spans what I can't. Remember. I didn't catch the name of the river here, but yeah, it's a hydroelectric operation here in Maine. As well, I'm not sure how much power it produces, but uh, yeah, nice little scenery here. There's a cute, uh, a large, I won't say a cute, a large uh, brewing company on the other side of the river here. We're gonna walk a little bit across the bridge here, get some shots. We're going into Topsham now, which is the community adjacent to Brunswick. Uh, as soon as we cross the bridge, we're in Topsham. And uh, yeah, let's go get some pictures of the uh, scenery here. So it's really nice. All right, folks, we're uh, walk across the bridge here a little bit, and we're going to uh, walk back now on the other side of the road back to our Airbnb and see what Missy and the Chihuahuas are up to. Yay! And then we'll uh, make our way into Freeport, and you can get the second half of this video when we hit the uh, outlet town of Freeport, Maine. But we got a little bit more to see here in Brunswick first. All right, we're back in the downtown area and we're coming up here on, uh, uh, from what I understand now, it morning, is sir. morning. How are you? Nice day. A beautiful day, isn't it? Coming up on a classic place now. I won't be able to eat here because Missy and I are doing this uh, vegetarian thing, but Frosty's Donuts. They're closed now. Anyway, it's a good thing. They're closed for their winter break, but here's Frosty's Donuts on Main Street here in uh, in Brunswick. Yeah, they're close for the winter break. So good thing anyway, we wouldn't be, we couldn't get in if we even wanted to. But yeah, I hear uh, I hear good things about Frosty's Donuts. Okay, we're coming back up on Lincoln Street where our Airbnb is. Again, I can't speak highly enough of Stephanie uh, and uh, her uh, partner there for having a great uh, place for us to stay. Probably one of the better Airbnbs we've been at in a long time here in Brunswick, it's on Lincoln Street. Uh, if you search for it, I'm sure you'll find it. But it's a classic brick building and it's very pet friendly too. They even have dog food bowls and balls and toys for the dogs to play at. So it's right on Lincoln Street. So worth while checking it out if, you're, uh, if you like the Airbnb. All right, so we're back at the Airbnb. We're gonna go see what Missy and the Chihuahuas are up to. And then we're gonna make our way into Freeport. So stay tuned as, I, uh, as we start our next chapter on this uh, video, heading to Freeport and do some shopping. Hitting L.L. Bean. All right, everyone, welcome back. And uh, guess who's back with us now? Yay! Where have you been? Reading. <laughs> Why didn't you come up with uh, Archie and me? I don't know. I didn't want to. <laughs> she doesn't like walking around. She doesn't like close-ups either. No. <laughs> you know. Okay, where are we going, Missy? We're going to... Uh... It just blank. It starts with an F? Yeah. And report. Report. Freeport! Yahoo! Yeah! All right, let's get in the car and go. All right, everyone, we're here now in Freeport. What makes this place so unique? The whole town, well, I'll tell you, McDonald's was in a house. That's right. Like the whole town is an outlet and it's really pretty. Yeah, and it's uh, February and it's not overly busy. No. Which, no, is, even, gosh, no. which is even better for us. There's, there's <laughs> lots of parking. <laughs> yes. All right, so we're going to go and check out some of the shops and. Uh, Try not to spend too much money because uh, the exchange rate is a killer. Plus, we get ding 2.5% on our credit card. <laughs> All right, so we're inside the LL Bean store here, and it's uh, it's busy for like it's uh, yeah for February, but it's President's Day, so I'm not surprised. Missy's already gone over to the lady section. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's poke around. Wow. 
believe would match my jacket. Well, look what I found. Hey. And she, what did she got? Oh, she got stuff. I got stuff. She always has. She's a shopaholic. <laughs> Another shopaholic. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here and hugging them, parking, waiting for Missy to finish. <laughs> All right, Missy found me a pair of sweatpants for 20 bucks. So that's a good deal. So uh, she's still shopping now. <laughs> I'm still waiting. <laughs> oh my, I make it. What did she just buy? <laughs> All right, so Missy just uh, spent, how much did you just spend? 169. 169 American dollars, which equals probably a gajillion Canadian dollars. But I got a pair of pants. Uh, insulated slippers or shoes, however you want to use them. Yeah. Um, a rain jacket. I got everything I wanted and your pants. <laughs> my pants were $14, by the way. <laughs> Just for the record, my pants were $14. Yeah, well, I'm done now. Now, if you want to go anywhere else, it's all you. Yeah. Okay, well, I got to get something to eat. I'm hungry. Okay. There's, there's a market up here. Let's see what's in there. Remember when we used to spend like gobs of money at Burt's Brothers? Yes. Now we just walk by. Yeah, I know. <laughs> furniture look look I, I we're gonna have to come back when we have room in the car those are really cool do that again oh look there's a whole oh look how cute those are if you can't tell missy uh, likes owls <laughs> and cows and cows and roosters no no roosters no Cow cows and owls all right, we're gonna walk around more and see what's here because it's beautiful to come. It's a nice day. Yeah, I think it's like forty-six degrees, and uh, and, and it's February, so you're be you're beating all the crowds. Mm -hmm. So let's go walk around some more. Okay, Vineyard Vines is like one of my favorite stores. So this is a clear section, 60% off. So let's uh, see what else more we can get here. So good deals before we go home. So I got nine bucks for my uh, long sleeve t-shirt that I showed you that I was a steal of the deal. So you got to look for the deals, Missy. I did, I found your track pants for 13. Yeah, that's right. But you didn't tell that on the camera so people, so people can't see that. I found his track pants for $13. And then uh, $9 for my uh, t-shirt. So all in, I'm $21. How much are you? Uh, 150 quite a bit more money. Oh, it's starting to rain. All right, here we got across the street. So as I uh, mentioned earlier, Missy and I are on this uh, special diet where uh, we're not eating meat. Uh, or what are you eating? I'm not eating processed food, we're just eating whole foods and plant-based foods. The only problem with it, I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> but I guess that's a good thing. All right, so we're gonna go check out this uh, this restaurant here, see what we got. Yeah, don't get don't get me wrong. I love I love my lobster and cheeseburgers, just like the rest of the unless just like the other guys do. But uh, I'm choosing to live a little bit healthier, so I don't want to jeopardize that. Because it's been a week, and I feel a lot. I feel better already, so I don't want to jeopardize that. You're alert, eh? Like your brain isn't foggy. Yeah, my brain's always foggy. <laughs> yeah, because you, you're smart, Missy. I'm uh, I'm I'm dumb. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's go up there and see what the menu's like. All right, so uh, strike out number two for the uh, Jameson Tavern. Uh, but we did do, we did go to the Google, and the Google said that uh, the Tuxen Pizzeria, which is down to your left, Missy, uh, does have excellent vegan options. But let, you know, I want to repeat: we're not vegan. We're just choosing to live a different lifestyle. That's all. So I could eat meat if I wanted to, but I uh, choose not to. Right now, anyways. All right, so we're gonna try out the uh, Tuxen Brick Oven Bistro here now. Third, third try has gotta be a charm, right? 
Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll consult with the Google. <laughs> okay. Because that's. Not, I wonder why it's so bright. Bright there. <laughs> We're shiny. We're shiny, yeah. Alright, so let's see where are we at? Wonder must be free, right? Yes. We got some uh, sparkling waters here. And it has healthy option, so for lunch. Kale, spinach. Oh, I like good stuff here. If you looked at my video last week when we were at the German restaurant with that cooler beer. <laughs> it was that night we decided to do this. Because we had our bellies full of all that German goodness, which I think you said it was the best German food in the world. Yes, I did. I did say that. I said it was the best German food ever. And then I was just <laughs> Look at that, eh? So this is the uh, Evergreen Bowl. And this is the Therasica Bowl. And we have... All right, so we're all done our uh, lunch at the... At the... Uh... Are you done smoking now? No, yeah, I was still smoking. She's not done her smoke yet. She didn't like to come on camera when she's smoking. No, so you talk. <laughs> All right, folks, we're done our uh, lunch at the uh, Wonder Lust. Wonder Lust Juicery. How did you rate that, Missy? It was a uh, nine out of 10. It was really good, yeah. Nine out of 10 was uh, the avocado toast alone was oh, that yeah, solid yeah, 10 yeah. out of 10. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We know that we learned about micro greens. Yes. Micro greens, yes. So now we got to go to a high end grocery store and buy some micro greens. What's the high end grocery store in Moncton? Sobeys? Uh, I'm sure. No, I'm sure. Uh, President's Choice, whatever it's called, Superstar will happen. Yeah, we'll have to go check that out. Because yeah. we got to put that on our avocado. Because it's uh, pure and simple, what you'll see in our breakfast reviews, does uh, put those microgreens on their uh, avocado toast as well. All right, we're going to go into this British Good Store and check out. All right, Missy. Yeah, we got and all the good stuff that we can't eat right now. <laughs> oh, it's gluten-free, though. Yeah, I don't know. But I gotta say, the sugars, I got, the sugars will probably kill you. Yeah. Coat the sugar like on else. Eight grams. Oof. I just think I was raised on those as a boy. So Missy bought that big box of oats uh, from Scotland. Twenty bucks Canadian dollars, fourteen ninety nine US dollars. Hey, we're oh look, the sun's coming back out. Yay! Yay! All right, we're uh, carry carry on with our wandering around Freeport. I gotta get a magnet next. That's one of the things we gotta do. Oh, big step down. Hey, this is found my sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, who? Well, this is the uh, life just sitting here, <laughs> soaked into this sofa at uh, the Coffee by Design here in Freeport, just uh, enjoying a coffee and doing absolutely nothing. That's the way life is. So, and why? Why bother? Because nobody's grateful for it, anyways. <laughs> All right, so we're back out after having our real coffee. I think Missy, we probably sat there for about an hour. Yeah, probably. And uh, now we're going to try. We're trying to get into the Blue Lobster here to buy a buy a magnet, but they're closed. So uh, we're going to go and uh, navigate our way around here more and see if we can find another uh, place to buy a magnet before we head back to uh, Brunswick. So I think, yeah, I think we're going to head find a magnet and then we're going to get back to the car and uh, head back and see the doggies, make sure they're doing okay. I'm sure they are. <laughs> yeah, it turned out to be a really nice day here today. I'm happy we didn't uh, head home today. I'm happy we came. Let all of the other life distractions not influence our day too much because they have a wonderful way of working their way in there, don't they? They have a campground here, do they? Do they? Oh, it's fine. Oh. Look at that, you know everything. 
It's where we hit this uh, free park market that we showed earlier in the video with the owl chairs that Missy freaked out over. We see they have a magnet. I don't think we're gonna win here with the Freeport. We get one with Maine, but we just can't find one with Freeport. And I'm sure at some point we're gonna come back to Freeport. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll look next Maybe time. Maybe for a weekend. Yeah. All right, we're gonna head back to the car and uh, make our way back to see the doggies and make sure everything looks good. So we'll check back in at dinner time. You know what, Missy? We haven't done a car wash video in a long time. We have not. <laughs> I think the last car wash video we did was in Kenton, Ohio. <laughs> no. Yeah, I want to say it was that long since we. Know. Boss, and we were in a car wash. Oh, maybe we didn't. We didn't. Maybe we did. I think we did. I don't think I used that footage though. Oh, okay. Hey, we're, we're here in the car wash in Brunswick, Maine. It's totally, totally exciting, everyone. We're gonna go and uh, finish our car wash, and then go back to see the doggies, and then go for dinner. So we'll hook up with you on our way to dinner. All right, so we're done in Freeport. We're back at the Airbnb. I love this Airbnb. If I haven't mentioned that in this in the video already. Uh, they have a little. Well, did little... you get their plaque on the front of the house? The plaque. Oh, there's a plaque. Yeah. Missy says there's a plaque. Let's go check out the plaque. I didn't notice the plaque. Well, well, well. So our house that we're staying in, 1857, it was built. Yeah. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. So what was it called, George McManus House? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we'll have to Google that later and see what the significance of it is who uh, George McManus is. But yeah, we're on our way to dinner now. We're gonna go to the Portland Pie Company where we went to last night. We didn't catch any of that on video. We had the uh, gluten-free pizza, which was pretty yummy. Now we're gonna go have the Beyond Burger and check that out. All right, so let's uh, make our way. This is, uh, this is trailing behind. <laughs> So Missy's got her uh, Beyond Burger. How is it? Really good. Really, really, really good. good. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've uh, I cut mine in half, so I don't have to look like a pig when I eat it. So how was that uh, Beyond Burger, Missy? Really good. Really good. Let's have a quick look at it. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's got avocado in it. You got the rose by Kata Bunny or whatever. Is it rose bacanabin? Flora bacanabin? What's the one that's it? Focaccia. Focaccia. And then you got your salad here with some uh, honey or what's it? Not honey, no. Italian. Is it Italian dressing? Already, guys. The fries here for I got the, I got the exact same thing. Yo, Missy, I like how they uh, done up the trees there in yeah. the downtown area at night. So, very pretty. They've done a good job here. Uh, and it was busy. Yeah. They, everything's busy here. Like, I thought there was a recession coming. So, I guess not, eh? No. All right, we're going to head back to the Airbnb and uh, settle in for the night because we got to drive yeah. back to Moncton tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. My name is Stuart, and this is Missy. Missy. And we're back at the Airbnb. We're going to go and. Uh, let uh, the doggies out and we're gonna get ready for our trip home tomorrow so uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, make sure you like comment subscribe and follow us for our next adventure